So you have installed Python in your system and now when you want to use the Python command through your terminal, you get an error like this, that is the term Python is not recognized. But we have installed Python in our system and I have one right here, you can see Python 3.10, but why is not showing up or getting used when we write the Python command? In this video, we're going to fix this issue that is the usage of the Python command from our terminal. Of course, there are a lot of ways to implement the same, but in this video, we will discuss about a couple of ways to do the same. The first way to fix the problem is reinstalling Python in your system. But before we do that, I recommend to remove the current installation of Python, that is open up your settings, and under apps, you will find the Python, and to just search it, we will enter it here, and then you can see it will list all the Python versions in your system, and you can see we have Python 3.10 here, just go ahead and uninstall it. After that, go ahead and download the installer for Python from the official website that is python.org slash downloads. After it is downloaded, install Python again using the same, but this time make sure you check this button that is add Python to path. This will make sure that you can use the Python command from your terminal without any errors. But what if this does not work for you or you just don't want to reinstall Python? In that situation, we can edit the environment variable and enable the Python command in our terminal manually. To do that, first of all, open the place where Python is installed. That is for me, this is the directory where it's installed and by default, it will be installed in a place like this. If you can't find the same, then I recommend you searching for this in the C drive under users you will have your username and then inside of that you will have a hidden folder which is called app data like this make sure you spell it correctly that's why i'm typing it directly here and then inside of that we have a local folder inside of that again we have a programs folder and inside of that you can see we have python select that inside of that you can see we have the versions of python currently i only have python 310 or python 3.10 Select this and you can see we have the Python installation directory. I can know the same by seeing the Python executable file or the python.exe. So make sure you just open the Python installation directory. If you performed a custom installation, then you just open it and copy its directory or folder destination. So just copy it like this and then open up the search bar and search for variables like this. You can see I have a option that is edit the system variables. If you can't see the same, then just type out the whole thing and it will appear. Now select this, give it the administrative permission, and then it will open up a dialog box like this, which is titled system properties. Inside of the system properties, you can see we have a advanced tab. Inside of the advanced tab, in the very bottom, we have environment variables. Click on that because we want to edit the same. Here you can see we have a dialog box with two sections. The first section is title with user variables and then system variables. Both of them have a variable or an entry called path. You can see path here and here as well. Now you can edit any of these, but I would recommend using the user one because it is for the things which the user installs. So either way, use any of these items and then click edit and it will bring up a dialog box again where you have a list of all the paths inside of that path. Now what we want to do is add our Python installation directory here. To do that, I'll just click on new and then in this entry field, I will just paste in the folder destination we just copied earlier and then that's it. Just click OK, OK again and then finally press OK to save the changes. Now let's close the terminal and run it again. So I'll just run our terminal again and you can see we have this. Let me full screen it. And now what I can do is use the Python command. You can see we get the Python REPL, which means Python is working. So that's how we can fix the issue with the Python command in our terminal.